up, YouTube? Gunny J here. Uh, first of all, I got some change uh, for the Gunny J's Freedom Fund. Let's see where we're at. I actually got a lot of change today. I used cash a bunch of times today. 1820. Remember, guys, when this gets up to 25 dollars. Uh, we'll be sending that as a donation to the NRA. Um, anyways, I've been wanting a uh, automatic light for my my gun safe. Right now, I have three motion detector lights. Two of them are the same. One is actually a different type. It's mounted up to the top of the the gun safe. So when you open the door, it swings past them and it kind of puts them on. But it doesn't really shine. A real good light all the way around uh, you know like all the way around the um, safe it doesn't really light up each shelf so I went on eBay and Amazon and all these different places uh, went to Canon and uh, Liberty safes and Browning and all these different safes uh, to find these lights and I can't find them anywhere for anything you know an all right price. Uh, the cheapest one I found was on eBay. Um, it was, I think it was 50 bucks, just under, just maybe just under 50 bucks, and it had an automatic pressure switch and you know all that. Uh, but it was only the lights themselves were only. I think there was two sets of lights, and each one was only three foot long. So I figured, you know what? Why don't I try to do something myself. I bet you I can make something for a lot cheaper. So I kind of thought about what the parts I needed. Um, I needed a pressure switch, which is that's what this is. This is a um, two-way pressure switch. So you got your ground here, and one of your positive leads go here. Um, now, if you put it on one. On one of one of these power leads, which is this one, the that would be the left one, I I believe. Um, it's always on, and then when you oh no, it's it's always off, and then when you press the pressure switch, which is right here, it'll turn the lights on. That's not what we want. We want the lights to go off when the safe door closes. So if you put it your power lead on this one. It'll always be on when it's open, when the switch is open, and then as soon as the switch closes, or circuit closes, I guess, it, uh, circuit opens, sorry, this will cause the circuit to open, and you'll have an incomplete circuit, which will turn the lights off. So this is the lead we want. This lead completes the circuit when the uh, pressure switch is not engaged. This, um... Uh, deactivates or breaks the circuit when the pressure switch is engaged if that makes sense so pick this up real cheap couple cents uh, it had a straight tang on it right here um, but I bent it and you'll see why in a few minutes but I got that got a few connectors for it uh, I purchased this I actually purchased two of these. One is a 12, one is a 12 volt one. I'm hoping that the the amperage is a little bit higher. The output amperage is a little bit higher, but this one is a 24 volt converter. So it goes from anywhere 110 to 240 volts to 24 volts, um, alternate current to direct current. Uh, so and and the, and the output is one amp. We can focus on that one amp. Uh, the more amps you have, the brighter your LEDs are going to be. Which here we go. I'll show you the LEDs. These are the LEDs. Again, purchase these off offline uh, on eBay. Um, every three, I think there's three bulbs every three inches or something like that. Uh, I have two rolls of these. And they were both they're both 16 feet apart. I'll probably only use one for the safe. And then let's say if 20 or so bulbs burn out on this, or let's say the whole strand burns out, 
uh, I'll just replace it with the other one I have. So it's kind of just a backup. Bought two of those. They came from California, so they pretty much came the next day. Uh, I bought, like I said, I bought a 12 volt um, converter and a 24 volt converter. My 12 volt one hasn't come in yet. I'm hoping the 12 volt has a little bit higher amperage, uh, so it'll make this brighter. I already pumped uh, about 3. Point, I think it was like 3.2 amps through this, and it made it really warm. So if we get around 2 amps, I think it'll probably be perfect. Uh, so hopefully that 12 volt will be around 2 amps. Um, but, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, mount this on the outside of the safe because I don't have a plug-in in my safe. Um, I'm just going to go through one of the bolt holes um, on the floor of the safe and, through, and underneath and plug it in. And then... On this side, I'm just going to wire it into these little connectors along with the correct sides of these leads. And I'll show you all this uh, together. And then I'll hook them on these leads. I'm going to mount this on the inside of the door where the swinging bracket for the door or the hinge actually will connect and click this closed every time the door closes. And I'll go through all that. But the best part about the whole thing is I got two of these, like I said, two 16 foot, 16 foot. All the LEDs are great. Um, they're waterproof. Uh, they've got this rubber coating on them. It's got a 3M uh, uh, sticky adhesive back, which I'm probably not gonna use. I'm probably just gonna staple them on the inside of the safe, but it's good. I got two of these converters shipped from Hong Kong uh, and I got um, I already have the connectors and I got the switch all for under like 15 bucks including shipping there was the the um, converters were I think like two bucks a piece free shipping from Hong Kong uh, these were a couple bucks a piece and the shipping were was only a couple bucks from from out of California, up North California. Um, so pretty much all I'm gonna do is just mount this on the inside of the safe, hook it up, and uh, we'll be good. Hey guys, um, I'm probably gonna do the rest of this, try to do it handheld and try to do it as steady as I can. Uh, but this is the inside of my safe. Um, there's where I routed the uh, converter up through. Um, that's just one of the four bolt holes. Um, here to the right is where I am actually going to mount the uh, pressure switch. As you can see right here, that is the hinge. And that hinge, if I can get it, will align with that hole and will engage the pressure switch when the door closes um, so let's see what we can get hey guys so far I've gotten it rigged up um, I didn't record how I did it because I was kinda getting frustrated with it I ended up making this little bracket out of aluminum and bending it and then attaching the uh, um, uh, the switch to it with just tape um, because I, you know, oh, just getting tired. It's kind of getting late, and uh, I didn't really want to deal with it. But it's working, and it's protected, so it's not going to start any fires or anything with the electrical tape around it. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I am going to run it up along the side of the wall and all across the top and back down so we'll see how that works guys uh, so here's the finished product look how much better the safe is lit up you can completely see everything in there um, lights up every shelf see in the back of every shelf now see everything 
me see if I can kind of get in there and see what we got. As you can see, the LEDs, they go all the way down. And all the way up across the top. I did kind of a messy job up here, but I wanted a few strands through the top. And then again, they go all the way down to the bottom and we got our um, switch and we got our uh, the power goes down across here and down underneath that plug but uh, I'm just gonna close the door I'm gonna try to at least Okay, we're going to just set the light like that, and then I'll show you how it clicks off when I close the door. Anyways, guys, tell me what you think. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um... Maybe I can help you out. Cool. Take care.